This is the Leica TSO6. I'll show you how to adjust the instrument for temperature and atmospheric pressure for accurate and precise distance measurements. First is to set the units. From the main menu you're going to go to 5 settings and then 2 regional. Okay, the information we're looking for is actually on page 2. Down here you can see that we have two different options for temperature. We have Fahrenheit and Celsius. We'll leave it in Fahrenheit. Pressure units, we have four different options. You have inches of mercury, you have hectopascals, millibars, and millimeters of mercury. In this instance, I'll leave it in inches of mercury. And then press continue. Now let's set the temperature and pressure. From the main menu, we're going to go to five settings and then five EDM. Now the menu we want to choose is actually F1 for atmosphere. Now here we have a couple different options. For temperature, we can leave it as auto, manual, or single. We're going to leave it in auto. What that does is you can see that the temperature is, is blocked out so we can't edit it. It automatically senses the temperature which you're at. Now there's two things you can do here to enter the correct pressure. You either enter the height you are above mean sea level, or you enter in the pressure. So right now, we're set in meters. Be careful when you look at this, it's already set in meters. This is because in my survey mode and survey menu, I've already set my units to be meters. If I had that in feet, then it would show this to be in feet above mean sea level. So right now, I'll enter in that we're 102 feet above mean sea level. And you can see that the pressure automatically changes to 29.5. And also the atmospheric parts per million is already appropriately adjusted, so you don't have to worry about that. Now if I gave you a different, uh, I can either go backwards and enter pressure. So let's say we enter pressure at 22. You can see that it changes our height to be 2457.158 meters above mean sea level, which we know isn't right. So now, you can also enter in when I look on uh, uh, the information for weather, I show that we are about 29.5 inches of mercury pressure, and you can see that it automatically adjusts my height to 113. So it keeps it relatively close to what we're at. So you can go ahead and adjust it again if you want, but you can see that it's not going to make a difference because the atmospheric parts per million doesn't change, nor does the pressure, nor does our refraction coefficient. After you enter in the proper information, you hit continue, data is saved, and you can escape back to the main menu.